How do you like that buggy? It isn't much now, but you put some guns on it and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Now, you ready for some more work? Some bandits have taken control of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance, trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. And we can't let that happen. I need you to use your special talents for a demolition job. You think you can do this for me? I'll even let you use my trusty sniper rifle for the job. Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate and run. Good luck. together my own little time trial race. You want to give it a go? Nothing too challenging. It's just a little course that I race on. Tell you what, beat my time, friend, and I'll give you a nice little boost upgrade for your buggy. You want to give it a shot? Good luck. I'm impressed. You are, as we say, a natural behind the wheel. And wait till you feel the boost kick in on that old buggy. Great work. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. 
So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just gonna attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east, and I gotta get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. It'll be safer there. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly, even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time, though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you, too. You can stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the arc suit for something a bit more modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some new clothes. I don't care what you do with that suit, as long as no one sees you in it again. You blend in, understand? Good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. Attention that a number of you are not properly disposing of your trash. 
It is illegal to hoard non-usable rubbish, as it can contain disease, insects, and other dangerous substances. Please use the Will you look at how you're dressed? I haven't seen anyone wearing an ARC suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Be careful. Authority spots you and you'll be hauled away in a flash. You best keep as low a profile as you can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large for turning one of you in. But lucky for you, I hate the authority more than I need money. <laughs> a man from the past walks through my door. Goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Very nice. A man with taste, I see. An excellent selection. Remember, I buy and sell all manner of goods here. I have some of the finest goods. Doing business with you? Watch it. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our Sheriff. Well, well, well. How'd it do to you? And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you've come to the right place. So here's the deal, fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal! And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? That door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town.
Damn what? Jackpots is closed. Authority is gone. Sure I saw them. Mutants. Ten, twenty of them. All over that valley. They had a hold of someone. That's why you'll never catch me. Let me guess. You're the stranger that Clayton says has taken some stuff to Dan's place. And I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. He can get you all set up with some guns, you got it? Get some firepower, then you can come back and take the supplies to Dan. You new in town? Well, I got everything you need to keep your vehicle working, right? Now listen, I only take racing certificates for any upgrades or parts, and you gotta win those on the racetrack, nothing else. So if you want to deal with me, you best see Jackie Weeks first. He's always on the lookout for new racers. Hey, my friend. I must say, you do look like a racer if ever I saw one. Why not try your luck on the track and earn some racing certificates? Trust me, they can be mighty useful. Greetings. Name's Jackie Weeks, and I'm the Empresario who runs all the high-speed races in Wellspring. And I do mean all. If you're interested in testing your skill, you can go talk to my business associate over there, Slim. He can get you all set up to race. And do come back if you feel the need for some speed. Greetings, stranger. <laughs> you look like a racer to me. Hey, you ready to try and win some racing certificates? Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. I just take a look at all the events we have here, find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know. Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> but everyone needs those. Care to look through the list of events?
Güller. Check out what races are available. Drive safe. Welcome racing fans for another exciting presentation of...